Welcome back to another Speedy 3D, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this new P1P here. So let's get into the video. Man, these printers are kind of loud. So there's already plenty of really good reviews out there online, and I'm sure they could help you out on YouTube. But this P1P here by Bamboo Labs is a really incredible printer. It almost has a sort of like self-care system, and it looks out for itself. And it has a really good print success rate, at least for me. One odd thing I did find is normally people get a roll of white PLA from Bamboo Labs in the box, but for some reason I got green, which is actually not that bad because I can print the warp pipe from Mario and it looks pretty cool in this color. This new printer here is game changing for me as I can do really fast prototyping, but also you do have to watch out because you're going to waste filament faster than you can even think of it. Now there is a ton of good review videos like I had said, but I'll touch on some things and first you can see this is a steel welded frame and it is extremely strong and it just has a lot of personality i say that because instead of having a normal creality style printer or any other cheaper fdm printer that does have v-slot rails it's kind of boring and it's really cool to see a fresh uh, perspective on how 3d printers should be built by bamboo labs and i love that sheet metal design with the injection molded covers for it so there are four speeds on this printer the first one is silent which is running about 50 percent of capacity then there's a hundred percent which is standard mode and then there is a hundred and twenty percent i'm probably wrong on that that is sport mode and then lastly 166 percent which is ludicrous mode and i love ludicrous mode it just sounds fun to say and it really does go ludicrous let me show you a clip here Okay, right now it is on 100% standard mode. So I'm going to make it go onto ludicrous mode, which is the top level. Sorry, the screen gets blurry here. There's sport, which goes pretty fast. Here's sport. And then here's ludicrous. After seeing that, there's no way my Ender 5 could keep up with this machine, so I would probably end up getting rid of this one anyway. Let me know if you guys know a place where I could sell this for quite a bit. And Now, after what I just showed you, let me show you the Ender 5 printing, and you've probably already seen it multiple times. Yep, it's pretty terrible as expected and it's really slow and inefficient because I think it's called a Cartesian design where there's a separate motor for the Y axis, there's a separate motor for the X axis, and the Z1 also has a separate axis. But on this printer over here, it's called Core XY and it takes two double thick motors and it synchronizes them with a big long belt system. And then obviously the Z axis is a separate motor but you don't really need all three to be synced up and that'd be kind of hard. But the core XY, the X axis and the Y axis are both combined together and it makes a really efficient, fast synchronized system of just playing out fast printing speeds. And with the motors being the limit of speed, you can get motors to go pretty fast. So the belts go right along with it. And the third thing that does make this thing incredibly fast is the rails. Now I can't believe that this printer is very low maintenance but one of the maintenance things is the package comes with a little bit of lubricant or grease for these rails here and it keeps them so smooth which it's not even that hard to do but the maintenance on it is really low and these rails the ones for the y-axis are going to be made out of steel as they i don't think have as much wear and tear as the x ones do and the x-axis goes so incredibly fast i just can't believe how fast it goes every single time those are made out of carbon fiber and they're a little bit lighter and more durable these printers are both really loud so i better turn them off before they make my ears bleed okay that is much better now back to talking about the p1p i think this is going to be my main printer from now on 
and while it does come with a ton of benefits, there are a few downgrades I've seen. Now they're not really big to me because I'm used to these, but this screen here is kind of tiny. It's a monochrome panel and the button system is kind of efficient to get around, but I'm actually really used to that now and I can get around pretty fast. So you just learn it pretty fast. And then the app, which it does come with, is extremely smooth. I love using that a little bit more than using this screen here. And then the other thing is the noise, which it's not a completely unbearable noise, but there is a really high pitched frequency kind of sound electronic sounding noise and it does kind of make your ears hurt, but I'm now used to it after a day and I don't think I notice it that much anymore. Other than that, it's mostly loud fans, but the motors aren't too bad compared to my Ender 5 when I had to sleep with that thing on. Lastly, to kind of wrap it up, I love the design aesthetic and it does come with a light and a camera. They are low FPS cameras, but at least you got a camera to check. However, you cannot see your print if you're not on the same network kind of bad but you can stop them remotely from anywhere as long as you're connected to internet comment down below if you do have a p1p and tell me what color of filament it came with because i came with a roll of green filament which i don't know if this is normal it prints completely fine but i was expecting a white roll of filament as i had seen pretty much everyone else on youtube have a white roll come with their package wrapping it up here it did come with some more stuff in the package which was extremely considerate of them and it does come with some extra nozzle cleaners and some grease lubricant for the rails. Also some thermal paste for any repairs you might have to do with the hot end and repairing parts. Unfortunately, they are a closed source company. A lot of extra screws and even their own Bamboo Labs liquid glue stick, which I think is fantastic. I can't believe other printer companies didn't think of this, but I used to think you know, glue sticks were kind of gummy. They didn't work the best and they kind of got globs everywhere. It wasn't the best way to print. And then I switched to PEI steel and that was really good. I'm glad it came with a textured PEI steel. I was used to a smooth sheet of PEI, but this Bamboo Labs PLA, ABS and PETG 3D printing adhesive is really nice as it gets a nice even coat and it doesn't apply like a normal stick would with gunk all over. This one is a really nice glue liquid mixture that applies onto the bed nicely through this piece of fabric at the very front. So lastly, I know you guys probably wanna see this because I can't find a YouTube video anywhere that shows how this little waste chute goes on in the back here, which I think is really cool that they put that. I have not seen another printer company do that yet. So way back here, where the nozzle actually wipes, and oops, I see it didn't quite make it in there yet, but this will actually go all the way back, and it will wipe the nozzle here just like this. It's very hard to see, but it will wipe it on that part there and get everything off, and then it hits this switch back here, which you might have seen move in other review videos, but what it actually does is it hits that little dongle thing back there that switches back and forth which actually allows that to push up a little platform down here and push up and then it extrudes filament on the platform then when it leaves it empties it out into the back which i'll have to make a shoot for it to run through in the back because right now they are just emptying to the back of my dresser faster than i can pick them up now i do realize that the x1 carbon is significantly better in a few ways but for me, it doesn't matter. I print mostly in PETG and PLA, and I might try some TPU here soon. So that has been pretty good for me. And I haven't had a single print fail that wasn't my fault, like putting on supports or taking off a brim or even having the wrong profiles, like 0.2 millimeter nozzle versus 0.4. So that's my fault. As many other people have noticed, uh, Bamboo Labs is a really good and fast growing company and they are based in China, but they do an extreme job when it comes to design and functionality. And I think they've done an excellent job. That's why I decided to buy this. And it did come extremely well packaged. Let me show you the packaging here. Here's the box, which it was extremely heavy. 
but it's just so high quality. But this is extremely thick bubble wrap. And then very nice cardboard with thick foam. So I love the unboxing experience. It really does feel premium grade and I hope others feel the same way about that too. Anyway, I'm extremely happy with my purchase. I hope this video helped you out a little bit and I think that's it for this video. So make sure you guys subscribe, comment if you have questions and let me know if you have any problems on your machine or if I have problems on my machine, I can ask any of you about that. So make sure you guys keep notifications on, like the video and I'll see you in the next one. In the glue oops. I mean, no offense to Creality.